Hi again, I've been working on a Honda hedge cutter. I um, can't remember the model offhand, but the engine is a G uh, X25, uh, the little small um, small engine they do. And uh, you can see it's got quite a small piston. Well, that's what I've done. Um, I used a hedge cutter and it actually ran okay, but it smoked bad. You could, uh, so the sort of fumes were getting, you could sort of taste, like taste the oil. So that was no good. So I, I ripped it apart because I thought, if nothing else, I can investigate how these engines work. Had one apart a long time ago, but I wanted to sort of take me time to learn about them a bit more. So what I did, I sanded out the um, the rough bit out of the bore, which is not too bad now. It was along the back there. I sort of sand out. It's not too bad. It's got it out, the mark. So um, we'll see how it goes. Um, the piston was only about 15 pounds all in i think with the uh, obviously with the rings and everything and two new seals you can see there and there oh, well, you probably can't quite see but yeah one both ends so um so yeah so i, I, I come the other day so i fitted it and um because it had a couple of scores on the old um, piston so i think the oil ring or something had worn or whatever because on these you have got the the third ring you can see the one with the little spring and that's like the oil ring and there's one false normal type spring another one and then there's this uh two very thin uh rings and then that spring bit goes in the middle so um i have actually slightly marked the piston because i've had i've had a um, few little problems with this uh it's sort of um learning along the way uh the first thing i did was um the piston it's like a compression fit. You have to uh, drive it out with a punch from one end and bang it out because it hasn't actually got a little end bearing in there. It's just um, like a compression fit as you sort of bang it through, it holds it in place. Well, the old piston never had them little clips on the end, the little piston clips. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, um, but the new one did come with them. So I wanted them in there really, because it come with them. I obviously wanted them in there. So um, I put it all on and I think that wasn't sitting in the middle. Now there's a little bit of play over side. And when I first went in, it was like over to one side. And because it was a compression fit, it was making the engine very hard to turn over. So I took it all back out again and um, got it about right. And I've actually test fitted it now and it does turn over fine. So that's the first tip. If you, if you do this, um, uh, a piston change, test fit it first without putting any sealant on the engine or anything and make sure that the engine goes over nice and freely. Um, otherwise you're going to have to take it apart. That's what I did. I put the sealant around and everything and I had to take it apart again. Another thing is as well, I'll see just what way that goes on there. Because he's got the timing belt on again, like the um, on the GCV um, engine I did. It goes through there. I won't bother showing you that at the moment because obviously that just goes where it, um, it just goes on, well, on that co uh, cog there through there. So that isn't important at the moment. Um, but it is obviously when you put it in because you can't get it once you put this in you can't get it in after so it has to go in actually i will just show you just um you have to put it around there like so first and then drop it in there when you put the crank on so yeah so um the rings you can't use a ring compressor on it um because it's sort of made with a little slope bit in there and it sort of pushes them in you have to get a little screwdriver like like that one and try to ease them in a little bit because that's the only way i could find it to get them in but the arrow on two strokes the arrow always well whatever one i've worked on always goes towards the uh, exhaust on here it goes towards the inlet side um they, because it, it's obviously a different design because it's got um valves in it so let me just show you in there you can see the valves in the bottom so there's no ports at all up the side. Um, let me just show you that again. If you see there, there's no ports up the side at all. It's just a valve at the top and the, and the plug hole. So um, what I did, I uh, sort of researched a little bit. What I did was put the, that would go in like, like so. So the arrow is under there and that's pointing towards the carburetor side, the inlet side. Because that's where it was and i just positioned the rings 
like that there's a gap there put one gap there the next ring down the gap there you can probably just see one gap there one gap there and what i did with the oil ring was just put the put them behind um and i think i staggered the two because um I don't think it really massively matters because you know there's no ports to, for it to go past anyway so that's how i did that but um yeah i d definitely recommend test uh, fitting it first because if it doesn't um sit in there true uh sort of true it's uh it's a bit of a pain i've had this in and out um three times now this time i've cleaned up the cleaned up the engine pretty well now and i'm gonna go for it now and We'll see how good it is when it's done. If it's no good, um, I'm sure it'll run, but we might smoke still because of how that ball was worn. Um, then I should probably just put it in an auction or something and then let some... I wouldn't feel bad about that because I wouldn't be selling it directly to the person. It's up to them to go and have a look in the auction to see what they think of the machine. So that's, uh, that's the route I'll go. I'll use it, try to use it, and if I get on well and it doesn't smoke, then yeah, I'm away. I have got... Just put them out of the way just for a second. I have got a new a new old stock engine there. And you'll probably ask, why didn't I use that instead of taking all that one apart? Well, the reason being the output shaft, um, the where the clutch sort of goes, is different. See, that's short and on that one. It's long so i couldn't really get around i could have changed the crank and everything but i'm not going to rip this um, new old stock engine apart because it's new so i'm not going to mess i'm not going to mess around with that i Yeah, I bought the new old stock one off eBay oh, a few years back and that will fit a streamer and I think it'll fit the blowers it might not fit the blowers actually I'm not sure how because the blowers might have this um, design on them I'm not sure um, I have had the blowers apart but anyway uh, there is a spare engine there but this one I wanted to see what they were like and they're not massively complicated it's just a few pointers along the way uh, might help someone else out because I have had a little bit of, of well fun and games with this one um, and um, you have to do put the cam wheel in um, as well um, at the end but i'll probably do a video on that showing you how to do the timing on this but i'm not this isn't a full uh full video um just a few pointers on this because um i'd already sort of started on it anyway so um yeah the, um hopefully what i tell you will help i'm going to use this to put it back together stuff i use on steels i did use this uh, this last time but um I don't know, I just think I'm going to use this stuff this time because I think this is going to be better for this little small engine. So, um, yeah, I've just got to finish. It's actually clean, really clean now. It's just a bit of the old gasket stuff there a little bit. I'll just get that cleaned out and then I'll get it back together. But um, I'll show you when the engine's sort of back together in sort of one one bit. And then I'll show you how it turns over and then we'll get the the timing done. Well, actually, I'll show you running, uh, turning over after the timing is done. And then it's just basically a matter of fitting it back together and um, should be okay. I think that a lot of the problem might have been with this. That's old seal on there. The light isn't great in here now, so I do apologise. I'm trying my best. I've got a few. Perhaps if I could do that a little bit, it might help. Yeah, it does a little bit. It's still in the shade a bit. But, um, yeah, that was very worn, that... Um, that seal this end and i think it'd been leaking oil at the bottom of the of the engine so it might it might run dry and then damage the piston off hand oh yeah i have got the old piston here and if you see it's got see there it's got two nasty scores on there so i'm not really quite sure what happened the rings weren't broke or anything but yeah something went wrong so um yeah so I bought a piston, it's a it's a Chinese copy one, but yeah, I think about just under 15 quid. So I thought it was worth thought it was worth a go to see if we can save this machine. If not, just uh, I've learned I've learned along the way and um 
uh, I'll get something back from the machine anyway, even if I broke it for spares. But hopefully this works and it um, it can live again. That's the idea of my channel, to try and make um, tools and that live again that are sort of, um, well, sort of dead really. Um, so yeah, this one smoked real bad. It, one minute you're using it, it was fine. It wasn't smoking too bad at all. It, it Maybe a little bit, but then all of a sudden you turn it a different direction, and puffs and puffs of smoke come out of it. So there's definitely something uh, went wrong with it. And then Marks on the Piston suggests that probably what it was. Um, so yeah, let me get this back together and I'll be back with you. Hi, I'm back on this um, Honda engine, the Honda uh, GX25. Um, I'm gonna put the cam wheel in and um, yeah then it'll basically be back together. It's just a matter of fitting it back together and uh, trying it really. Uh, I will uh, adjust the valves. I'll try and find the settings for them. But um, yeah the main thing is first is to get that in. Um, so yeah the first thing is to get the flywheel on. Like so, the little arrow there, an arrow there, and that points towards that bottom bolt. Just let me look at it straight on. I am actually just going to put the nut on as well, a little bit. So, yep, I'm happy with that. I'm just going to get a screwdriver. And just make sure it's uh, pistons top dead center. And we are right at the top. So I'm happy with all of that. Let me try to get this in the best position for you. So, from what I've um, worked out, you've got an arrow on there, like so. That arrow goes down because you can't push that in the opposite way. You have to push it down. So let me get that in, mind my hands. You have to sort of I look through that little hole there and then I angle the arrow there. But as I'm doing that, I sort of loosen the belt round it. push them because you can push the valves down on the rockers it is fiddly I find this fiddly this I'm getting there So I've got that in place. Hopefully this is right and hopefully that I didn't move around. I'll just get a little hammer, small hammer. Just tap that pin in. So that's um, gone home now. So let me just lift it up. Turn it round. Just gonna tighten up that nut on the back quickly. So I'll be back with you in a sec. So I've just tightened up the flywheel nut enough. So now I can turn it over. So we are there, level with the bottom, and we have piston at the top. So turn this over. We come around to the arrow at the top now. The arrow is at the top and the piston is at the top and the arrow is there. So it seems odd, you actually put that wheel in upside down but you have the arrow at the bottom. It's a bit tricky because you can't see where the arrow is going but I've got it right because you can see it's going straight up and then the other on the back the flywheel is matching up with that bolt hole so i'm pretty sure that is is all is all good so it's turning over quite nicely 
the valves are working as you can see so yeah it's working good um so i hope you got all that it's a bit difficult to sort of show you and we're trying to uh, piece that belt on and everything but that is how you do it and it's just a pin just goes through through there and then you cover stop that pin from falling out um so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna line that up and check that the arrow is at the top again and we have they are um rocking so i can check the adjustment on them easy to do just undo that nut and there's a little small allen key just to adjust it um i might show you that in a second i'm just going to get the the settings Um, so yeah, I've got everything sorted now. So um, I've looked up and the inlet is 0.08 millimeters. So that will be um, that one. Actually even says on there, IN, and that says EX. So you know the right one. So we'll do that first. It's a little bit, not much, but a little bit loose. So just, give that. it's an eight mil. Crack that off. Tighten that down a bit. I'm happy with it there. So just tighten that up. Sorry about my hands, but It's a light drag, and I'm happy with that. The exhaust is actually 0. They say 0. 0.11. I'm slight. I haven't got one. It doesn't seem to be on this um, feeder gauges, but it says plus or minus each way. So I'm happy to go with that. 0. 0.10. So let's see how close we are on that one. Another one that's a little bit. A little bit loose. I seem to be happy. I'm seem to. Seems to be about it. I'm happy with it there. So just tighten up that lock nut. So they're both adjusted. So um I hope you saw that okay. It's a bit fiddly to try and do it with a camera um like that, but you I hope you got the gist of it. Um so now I'm just gonna fit the bits back together so I can get it. So it can be started. I'm going to try off the machine. I don't need to put it back on the hedge cutter to do that. So yeah, um, they're, they're okay. But like I said before, on the other Honda engine I worked on, you can always take the cap off afterwards and adjust them if, if need be anyway. Um, and I do usually rotate around a couple of times and check. So we'll do that. I know where I am by that arrow, so. I'm up right on the arrow, about right there. Piston is up, and then the exhaust right. And I've lost the other one at the minute. I found the other one, the eight, um, and that's not too far out. I'm happy with that. So we'll give that. A, we'll get it back together and give that a whirl and see how see how the um, machine runs. Um, hopefully it fixes the oil issue if it doesn't I at least learn something along the way so um yeah i'll stop the video here and i'll just show you it when it's back together and see if it runs see if it smokes whatever um but yeah um at least i've had the engine apart and i know what they're all about so it's working fine and it's turned over quite nicely 
I'm just going to start this now. It's gone a bit oily because um, I forgot to put a gasket in the uh, rocker cover cap. But um, I have had it running, so we'll see what it's like. Choke still, though. Um, at least it runs. Um, I'll have to see how it goes when it's back on the machine. But it's a, all the case, all the well auxiliary bits were quite oily and mucky. So I shall probably take them back off now, clean it all up, then get it back on the machine so everything's clean. Then we'll go from there. So I'll leave this video here. I hope it's been of some use to you. And um, yeah, I'll be along with another video again soon. So thanks for watching. <laughs>